Hey guys, let's continue the last part of this course uh, and in this uh, section I want to learn you how can you use a uh, hand raster in order to extract flood depths. Okay, uh, in the previous section uh, we learned uh, how it can be used a raster calculator option or function to extract flood inundated map for different flood return periods and, and now uh, I want to extract the flood raster depths. So uh, I have a flood inundated map for flood depths about 80 meter and now I want to uh, calculate the flood depths uh, located in this layer. Okay, uh, let me find the extract by mask function because I want to extract hand values uh, located in this uh, polygon. I select inundated uh, uh, extract by mask and in this uh, input raster select hand raster and for input raster or feature mask data select the flood inundated polygon layer uh, which is created in the previous section. And so in the output raster, select a suitable name for that. For example, I want to select hand 80 meter. I mean, I want to extract hand raster for a full depths lower than 8 meter. Press OK, and after a while, uh, it easily extracts the hand values for this polygon. Uh, as you know, uh, in this layer, the uh, hand value range from 0 to 8. For example, those uh, cells which are located in the uh, Talweg or in the uh, network have the hand value equal 0, and those cells uh, are located, for example, in the floodplains, have a higher uh, flood or hand values. And you know, uh, in the, the river network sections, we have the maximum flood depths and in the uh, inundated uh, or uh, flood uh, plains, we have the uh, relatively low values of flood. So in order to uh, convert the hand raster to flood depths, you just need to go to the raster calculator function and write this uh, simple command. For example, I select hand 80 meter and I want to uh, minus these values from 8. Let me uh, first of all select 8 meter plus, uh, minus and select hand raster. And this starts to uh, uh, reduce the flood values from 8. And it's minus 8 from uh, hand raster. And Save this layer from a suitable direction. Let me select depth 8 meter. Okay, you can do this for different flood. For example, for a flood map 4 meter or 6 meter, you can do it for that layer. For example, 6 minus hand, 4 minus hand, and other flood depths. Uh, before starting this uh, calculation, let me to create a interpolate line, for example, from for example left side to the right side after this river, and uh, click on profile graph. Okay, let me select hand, and you know these values range uh, from zero to the highest value. You know. In the river network, we have the maximum flood depth, and this is not uh, suitable for using for calculation of flood depths. In order, so we want uh, to use a raster calculator and select eight minus hand raster and select depths raster eight meter. Okay, press OK button. And now you can, you know, the flood depths change from 8 to 0. You know, 
flood in the river networks is the maximum and by going to the right or left flood plane the flood depth is reduced or reduced let me change the color of this layer for example from black blue to light blue and uh, if you click on each cell you can find the flood depths let me select okay this is the best layer for click on the center of a river and you know the flood depth is about 8 meter and by going to the left and side flood planes the flood depth reduces to about 2 meter or 1 meter or 0 meter okay you can easily calculate the flood depth and now you can use these flood maps for estimation of damages uh, uh, incorporated to agricultural areas and you just need to have a flood de or depth damage curves and using depth layer you can calculate or estimate the annual or seasonal flood damages to those uh, properties okay just this i hope this course can be useful for you especially for those uh, are working in flood inundation and flood forecasting and flood modeling issues have a good time bye, -bye.